And back at Franklin Field, ready for the Championship of America. Boys, four by four relay presented by Grace Foods. And Brandon, this is gonna be a hot one. Uh, we get to close the relay out. We ran the opening leg. Now we're gonna close it out with the anchor. Uh, the times were just fantastic this morning. Uh, tell us about the field. The slowest team to qualify ran 316.7. So that gives you a feel for who's in this, in this field. The top qualifying time, Kingston College, 311.4. Damatha Catholic and Bullis School out of Maryland should also give them chase. Now, you thought you heard noise during some of the Olympic development races, which were exciting. Uh, this high school boys 4x4, four four, the Jamaican crowd is going to go crazy. And we're off. In the field, Riverdale Baptist in one, Bullis School in two, DeMatha Catholic in three, St. Elizabeth Tech, Edwin Allen, Kingston College, Excelsior, St. Jago, and Jamaica College. Those last six teams all from the island nation of Jamaica. It Kingston is a three-turn stagger, sorry. Kingston College had three legs under 49 seconds earlier this morning, including a 46 point. They're the early leader. Though not alone, Excelsior to their outside also ran extremely well this morning. So approaching the first exchange zone again, this is a three-turn sagger. They'll be in lanes until the back straightaway. And there they are in lane six, our top seed, Kingston College. A 311 smoker this morning and now they're up by 15 plus meters much better baton pass than excelsior to their outside who now crashes into the rail bullis there too they were very competitive this morning but kingston college has a huge lead and building on it with 150 to go now the pen relays record is an amazing 303 79 uh, i'm not saying they're going to hit that but they may get themselves into the top 10. Kingston College, second exchange there at 133, 306 pace. And the amount of open track they have behind them is just incredible considering the quality of the field, just 5.3 seconds separating first from ninth qualifiers. That chase pack continues to grow. Edwin Allen now up into the mix. Jamaica College moving up on the outside shoulder. Excelsior still the leader there, closing in just a few steps. The lead about 15 to 18 meters as Kingston College, they were 133.77 at the midpoint. Coming up to the anchor leg, they're gonna be on their feet at Franklin Field. <laughs> 221 high and a lead of about three seconds going into the anchor. 48.1 on the third leg for Kingston College. Excelsior at 47.8, so they're able to cut the gap just a couple seconds, but it is a solid two seconds plus, and they're running their way into the record books conceivably. Again, trying to crack that top 10. They ran 311.4 this morning. The flags are waving, the noisemakers are out. And look over the inside shoulder. He realizes this race is his, it's against the clock. Kingston College. To the line. 309.52, the victory. And they're celebrating on the main straightaway at Franklin Field. Bullis School, 311.90 with a big closure. It's 46-22 anchor. The winners from Jamaica College, excuse me, Kingston College. One of the earlier exchanges, that big pack chasing behind them. You can see Bullis handing off the stick in fourth at that point. Kingston College across the line in 309-52. It's their first win in the 4x400 at the Penn Relays since 2016. Their fifth overall. And it's the seventh fastest performance in Penn, Re Penn Relays history. So they get their spot in the top 10. An incredible top 10 at that.
And if that race wasn't enough, there are the times 309.52, Bullet School 2.4 seconds back. St. Jago and Excelsior and Edwin Allen round out the top five.